So in the question, we have to prove that the perpendicular drawn from the point 4041 on the join of 2 points 2 minus 1 and 6 5 divides it in the ratio 5 is to 8. Okay. So now what we have to do here is that we have to prove that the point 41, there is a point 41, let's say it's P and perpendicular from it on the line joining two points that is a 2 minus 1 and b 6 5 this perpendicular let's say this is m this m is dividing a b in the ratio 5 is to 8 this we have to prove okay so how do we prove this kind of problem the first approach should be to find the equation of a b and if you find the equation of a b then b m will be perpendicular to the a b ok and we know that when two lines are perpendicular to each other then the product of their slopes is minus 1 ok in this way we will get the slope of line p m and if we get the slope of line p m and we have point p then we will easily get the equation of line p m because for finding the equation of a line we just need a point and a slope point is already given and slope we will get from the equation of line ab because pm is perpendicular to ab so let's proceed this question so if we find the slope of ab m of ab it will be y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 let's say this is x1 x2 x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so slope of ab will be y2 minus y1 y2 minus y1 5 minus minus 1 x2 minus x1 x2 x2 is 6 minus x1 is 2 so 5 plus 1 4 6 by 4 means 3 by 2 so slope of ab is 3 by 2 this is the slope of m of pm would be minus 2 by 3 because when two lines are parallel and perpendicular to each other then the product of their slopes is minus 1 and if you multiply this minus 2 by 3 with 3 by 2 then the answer will be minus 1 and we are correct in the concept ok now we got the slope of line pm so we will find the equation of line pm and point p is 4 1 ok point p is 4 1 and slope is minus 2 by 3 so the equation will be y minus 1 minus 2 by 3 x minus 4 ok this will be 3 y minus 3 minus 2 x plus 8 so it will be 2 x plus 3 y equals to number 1 ok let's say this is equation number 1 1 2x plus 3y 11 ok now we will find the equation of ab because if we have the equation of ab then we can easily find out the coordinate of coordinate of point m by the point of intersection of pm and ab so we have e slope of ab 3 by 2 and point a 2 1 is 1 so we have point a 2 minus 1 and slope slope of a b slope of a b is 3 by 2 slope of a b is 3 by 2 so we will find the equation of a b and it will be y minus y1 y minus minus 1 m that is 3 by 2 x minus x1 ok this is y plus 1 equals to into 2 equals to 3 x minus 6 and this is 3x minus 6 equals to 2y plus 2 ok and similarly we can write 3x minus 2y equals to 8 ok let's say this is equation number 2 
our equation number one was two x plus three y equals to eleven. Equation number one was two x plus three y equals to eleven. Equation number one. From here, from here we will try to find the value of x and y. So for finding the value of y, let's multiply equation two with three. Multiply three and this equation by two. So we will get nine x minus six y equals to twenty four, and here four x plus six y equals to twenty two. So when we add this, this is thirteen x equals to six four. This implies x equals to forty six by thirteen. Then if x equals to forty six by thirteen, then y will y will be equals to three y equals to eleven minus two x two x x equals to forty six by thirteen. Okay, it will be eleven into thirteen minus forty six into two ninety two divided by thirteen. Now it would be y equals to 143 minus 92 divided by 39. Okay, this is 151 by 39. 51 by 39. So we got the point of intersection. That is 46 by 13. 46 by 13 and 51 by 39. So this point is nothing as forty six by thirteen point seventeen by thirteen, and now in this way we got the coordinates of point P. Okay. So our coordinate of A is two minus one and B is six five. Okay. A is two minus one. A is two minus one. Two minus one b is six five. Okay, and coordinate of p we just obtained. We just obtained forty six by thirteen and seventeen by thirteen. Okay, now we have to prove that this p is dividing this a b in the ratio of five to eight. Okay. Now we know the. Now we know the point of intersection is forty six by thirteen and seventeen by thirteen. And according to equation, according to the given question, we have to prove that this P is dividing this AB in the ratio five is to eight. So, if this point has to be correct, if the, it is really dividing this inter in the ratio of five is to eight, then Uh, by the formula of using, when we know we have a point x1, y1, and b x2, y2, and let's say there is a point p x y, which is dividing it in the ratio m is to n, then x is m x2 plus n x1 m plus n, and y is m y2. And y1, m plus n. Okay. So we will obtain this coordinate x y by assuming that it is dividing it in the ratio five to eight. And if the coordinates come out to be forty six by thirteen and seventeen by thirteen from this formula, then it will be proved because we have already assumed that this is dividing the Uh, AB in the ratio five to eight, and we will now calculate the coordinates x y, and that coordinate if matches with this coordinate that that we have obtained from the point of intersection of two lines, then our question is solved. Then we prove. So let's find out whether the coordinates matches or not. Here, A A has the coordinate two minus one, and B has the coordinate six five. 
okay b is the coordinate 6 5 to find the x x would be m x2 m is 5 and x2 is 6 plus n y1 n is 8 and uh, n x1 x1 is 2 and m plus n 5 plus 8 so it is nothing but 30 plus 16 46 by 30 and similarly if you find the value of y this this will be m y2 m5 into y2 5 into 5 plus n y1 n is 8 into y1 is minus 1 so m plus n 5 plus 8 ok 25 minus 8 70 by 30 so what we find that we got the same coordinate so in this way we is proved that the line is getting divided P is, P is dividing AB in the ratio of 5 is to 8 only.